Hi, my name is Robin Swain and I'm a graduate assistant at the Counseling Center at Shippensburg University. And in this segment, I wanted to talk to you about limiting exposure to anxiety producing news and information. So we are in COVID-19 time right now, and it's very important that we stay up to date with what's going on. That way we know how to keep ourselves safe and keep the people around us safe. That being said, we need to make sure of a couple of things. One, making sure that we are purposeful about when we are deciding to intake news and information. And two, making sure that we are aware of who we are getting our information from. So let's start with that first piece about being purposeful about when we're getting our information. It's very important for us to structure our time. Set a specific time that you get to dedicate each day to looking up news, getting informed, and then make sure to move on from there. You know, our brains are structured to be curious and to seek out information and also to seek out troubling information. That's our way of our brain making sure that we stay safe, that we are staying away from any potential threats. But what can be detrimental is that constant stream of information. Uh, that constant stream truly overwhelms our senses. Our brains need moments of rest to process information properly and to remain healthy as a whole. Our brains can't handle a constant stream of news and moment to moment updates. And without that time to pause our brain from that constant bombardment of information, anxiety builds up and then we may be more prone to going into a panic mode. So very important to set a specific time. An example of this could be every day from 10 a.m. to 10, 15, I'm gonna look up the news. I'm gonna look and see if there are any updates that are relevant. And once I hit that 10:15 mark, I'm done. Uh, you can set a specific time in the morning um, or a specific time in the evening. Maybe you need both. Just making sure to be very purposeful about only allowing so much news to come in at a time. That second really important piece about the information that we take in is making sure that that information is coming from reliable resources. Especially in this time of COVID-19, we need to make sure that what we are learning is coming from experts in the field. Make sure that whatever information you are taking in is coming from people that has the educational background to be supporting the information that they're putting out there and sharing with the world. CDC is a great example of a website where there is very factual, reliable information. To share a personal story of something that happened to me just a couple weeks ago, a friend had shared with me a post on social media that had information about COVID-19. And after I was done reading it, I was paranoid and convinced that I had the virus. I had a panic attack for about an hour. I was crying. I was having a hard time breathing, which of course is another symptom of COVID-19. And it took me a while to stop and ask myself, where did that information come from? So I went back to the post, clicked through uh, a few screens and realized that this post that my friend had given me just came from a random person. They were a realtor, uh, have no scientific background whatsoever. They are not experts in the medical field. And I basically realized that I had experienced a meltdown based off of random information that had no citations online. So be very wary of that. And since we're talking about that social media piece, make sure that you feel free to temporarily block people. If you find that there are people in your social media sphere that continuously post things that produce anxiety for you or get you on the train of negative thoughts, there is absolutely no problem with that. In the case of me and my friend, I made sure to directly tell her, please do not share posts like that with me anymore. And we're still cool. And now she knows to only share with me toilet paper means. So those are the top two things related to limiting exposure to anxiety producing news and information. I hope this is a video that you could find helpful for helping you through this particular time of COVID-19. And I hope that this can be of help for you moving forward into the future for any other newsworthy events um, that may be causing you stress. And if you are looking for any other resources now at this time, please feel free to always visit the Counseling Center's website.
here's my fancy paper, at www.ship.edu forward slash counseling underscore center. And we also post a lot of resources on our Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash UCC outreach page. Feel free to look us up on there. That also can provide you with information on how to directly get in touch with us if you have any further questions. But thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you have a lovely day.